the Internet of Things will not be blind. It will be able to look around the world, see what's going on, make decisions, and communicate critical information. And that means a lot of our IoT designs are going to need cameras. This is not a future thing, no. A huge number of our designs require cameras today. But connected camera subsystems are hard to design. There are image sensors to deal with and all kinds of special processing to get just the picture we need. Then there's the whole issue of dealing with the huge stream of data that the cameras produce. Getting it up to the cloud, where we can do even more work on it. We've got an enormous amount of engineering to do before we even get to the main part of our IoT design. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. What we really need is a development kit that takes care of all of the image part for us. My guest today is Radhika Aurora of On Semiconductor, and we're going to talk about the new Matrix Cam. Sounds cool, doesn't it? The new Matrix Cam video development kit and how it can shortcut our next design's journey to sight. Before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find out even more information about the new Matrix Cam Video Development Kit. Hi, Radhika. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks, Amelia. It's great to be here. So a lot of IoT applications need video these days, but developing a connected camera from scratch is a huge project. I understand you have a new kit that can fast track me to an IoT based camera for my next project? Yes, we do. I want to introduce to you the Matrix Cam. It is our latest video development kit from On Semiconductor. The Matrix Cam serves as a one stop shop for any company developing an IoT application that wants to integrate a camera in their solution. Matrix Cam has all the building blocks of a typical IoT device. It's got sensors, which includes a CMOS image sensor providing the image and video functionality. It's got a motion sensor. It also has both wired and wireless connectivity, which covers Ethernet, Wi Fi, Bluetooth Low Energy. Additionally, we also provide audio capability, live streaming to a mobile device. The board supports cloud connectivity right out of the box with options for live streaming or cloud storage. We also offer a web GUI for configuration and control of the camera. The kit comes with a complete set of instructions which guides you to set up and use the camera with ease. Now the best part is, it literally takes less than 10 minutes to plug and play. That's great. Can you give me an example of how all of these building blocks interact in a real life IoT application? Absolutely. So the Matrix Cam has all the essentials of an IoT solution. Our users can take the whole board as is and create an end product. Alternatively, they can take pieces of this and integrate it into the end application. So our modular approach to this reference design gives our users that flexibility. Excellent. So I'll actually like to walk you through a use case here. And for that, we can pick a smart doorbell. It's actually one of the highest runners in the IoT space. Okay, cool. Now, typically the camera in a smart doorbell is in standby until an event triggers it to wake up. In this case, the trigger can happen either through a motion sensor. So if there is any movement sensed within the radar of the PR sensor, it wakes up the Wi-Fi module. Alternatively, the Wi-Fi module can also be woken up if there is a Bluetooth enabled device that it pairs up with. Once the Wi-Fi module is activated, it immediately wakes up the camera and the image processor. Once that trigger happens, there are essentially two things that follow. You can immediately get a live scene around the doorbell and it starts recording on either the cloud and or locally on a SD card. Okay. Some users prefer SD card storage just for security reasons. Secondly, there is a push notification that is sent to your mobile device, giving the user the option of viewing the live video or looking at a still image with a timestamp on it. Okay. The video is a high quality stream of 1080p at 30 frames per second. Okay, I'm interested in the imaging portion of the design. Can you tell me more about that? Absolutely, that's our favorite portion. The CMOS image sensor used in the Matrix Cam is one of our best low-light performing sensors in the market today. 
It's actually won numerous designs in applications like home security, where low light performance is absolutely key. The AR 023 Z sensor is a third inch device with 105 dB dynamic range. It supports high dynamic range video with improved motion compensation, advanced local tone mapping, and digital lateral overflow to minimize motion artifacts and enhance the HDR color reproduction. So the AR 023 Z uses a dual conversion gain three micron pixel. It essentially has two modes, a low conversion gain mode that is optimized to offer greater charge handling capacity, especially in bright environments. It also has a high conversion gain mode, which delivers increased sensitivity and reduced readout noise in low light environments. Okay, cool. So that dynamic range is really impressive and HDR is really important in a lot of applications where we need to see both shadow detail and the bright areas. So how do you get the high dynamic range on the matrix cam? For high dynamic range processing, it supports both on-chip processing and also off-chip HDR. By default, the sensor powers up in HDR mode. The HDR scheme used is multi-exposure HDR. So this allows the sensor to handle up to 105 dB dynamic range. The HDR mode in the sensor sequentially captures two exposures by maintaining two separate read and reset pointers. And these are interleaved within the rolling shutter readout itself. Okay. The intermediate pixel values are stored in line buffers while waiting for the two exposure values to be present. And as soon as the pixels two exposure values are available, they are combined to create a linearized 16-bit value for each pixel's response. Now, these exposure ratios may be set to 4x, 8x, 16x, or 32x, depending on whether a high spy or a parallel mode is selected, the full 16-bit value may be output. We can also compress it to 12 bits using adaptive local tone mapping or compand it to 12 or 14 bits. There are also options to output T1 only or T2 only or pixel interleaved data. Individual exposures may be read out in a line interleaved mode. AR023Z has the capability to output the T1, T2 exposures separately in a live interleaved format. And the purpose of this is essentially to enable chip HDR linear combination and processing. So that live streaming part, let's get into that, which can be really challenging in video. Tell us how you achieve live streaming on the matrix cam. Sure. For remote viewing of the matrix cams live stream, a media server with Wowza streaming engine is supported on both Amazon as well as Google computing engine. The media server will pull the RTSP video stream from the matrix cam via its public IP address. And Wowza runs on many different media servers. Today we support it just on Amazon and Google Cloud Platform, but there are a lot of different platforms that Wowza is compatible with as well. Now there is a second aspect to this, and that's video on demand. Using the same media server as we do for live streaming, we enable the Wowza streaming engine to record videos to cloud storage and these can be accessed at a later time for viewing. There is also a third portion to the cloud connectivity here, and that is push notifications. So let's look at that for a minute. Okay. Push notifications enable the user to receive a message on their mobile device each time there is some activity detected. So in this case, the PIR sensor on the matrix cam detects motion and starts SD card or cloud recording of the video stream and immediately sends a notification to the user. It does this with the help of Google Cloud. Now these cloud messages can follow any format as long as they're only text. Oh, okay. Our user guide does a great job at listing step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up a sample push server on Google Cloud. The open source code for push server as well as the Android app is available on GitHub, making it super easy and customizable to implement this functionality in a device. Great. Today, we support Android devices, but it doesn't end here. Our team is working rigorously to extend support to web apps 
and iOS as well. So we have this device, but thinking in terms of it being a development platform, how do I get it to do what I want it to do? Is there an API for me to develop my application? And how does that work? The Matrix Cam comes with an embedded web server and an embedded streaming server. Okay. The embedded web server allows for configuration and control of the camera. Clients can be built in any platform. We've got the Mac OS, Windows, iOS, and Android supported. You can use any programming language that supports making HTTP calls. And this can be done on a local area network using the IP address of the camera or remotely over the internet if the camera has a publicly addressable IP address. Oh, okay. The Matrix Cam also has an embedded streaming server that provides a live preview of the camera stream over our TSP protocol. This stream can be consumed by any media player that can process an RTSP stream. So one of the more popular clients is VLC. It can be downloaded as a native client for most popular desktop and mobile platforms. And you've seen these. These include the Windows, Linux, Mac OS, Android, or iOS. There is actually also a VLC plugin available for Firefox. Let me go into a little more detail on these APIs. Great. So as mentioned, we provide a rich set of APIs to create and customize the user interface and experience on a large variety of platforms and browsers. So there is live streaming that we support. Secondly, there's also configuration, which essentially entails network settings. You can configure the system dependent on the wired or wireless mode you're using the camera in. You can configure the video. You have the option as a user of changing the resolution, the frames per second, compression, recording configuration options. On cloud connectivity, which entails live streaming over cloud or storage in the cloud or push notifications, you can customize the messages as an example. Okay. There's also user management. So users can set themselves as the admin, add more accounts if they need to, or change the username or passwords as required. Great. And thirdly, there is control. So you have the option of using the GUI to either take a picture, record a video, turn the audio on or off. Now, I understand about these APIs that OnSemi provides, but what about those of us who want to add our own APIs? How do we verify that our APIs will work on this platform? Well, we support exactly that feature. So we have an open source test suite that's available to test the application programming interfaces of the Matrix Cam. There is an open source test suite under Apache 2.0 license available to validate the camera configuration and control. Okay. This can be easily executed from the PC. We also provide the option to test this from Android if so required. An open source test suite under a GPL license is available to validate the RTSP stream. And this executes from Android devices supporting Android 4 and up. And this is all part of the open IoT platform experience we want to give our users. Okay, so this kit obviously has a lot of great features, but there are a number of different options out there when it comes to environments like different operating systems, different browsers, and so forth. How difficult or easy is it for us to develop with Matrix Cam across all of these different environments? That's a great question, Amelia. Now, our team has worked hard at adding flexibility to the Matrix Cam platform and making the development experience as comfortable as possible for our users. So we support a broad range of browsers. We've got the Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, and Safari. On the operating system supported, we've got Ubuntu, we've got Mac OS, and we've got Windows. Smartphone, we support both iOS and Android. And then uh, we've also got cloud connectivity right out of the box with connections to Amazon Web Services and the Google Cloud Platform. Okay. Additionally, we also provide a GUI for our users. This is embedded in the Matrix Cam VDK, and the GUI supports configuration. So you can do network configuration, video recording, cloud, or user management through this GUI. You can take control of the video kit by having options of taking a picture, recording a video, turning the audio on and off. You also have the option of doing a live stream or even firmware upgrade. 
So here you're actually seeing snapshots of the GUI. So this is a live view of the GUI that you can view on your PC or on a mobile platform. You also have another snapshot that shows the configuration. So you can change the network settings or just change different user options through this configuration window. It seems to me that there are a bunch of different applications for a platform like this. So what are the main application areas that you're seeing out there? So Amelia, the applications are so many. They range anywhere from smart door locks, smart doorbells, home security cameras, smart white goods that could be refrigerators or ovens. Essentially, it's any connected device that requires a camera. And this is a big market today. We've seen all these numbers floating around that say 20 billion connected devices. I actually believe in that number. A lot of these applications is something that we're already using in our day-to-day -day life today, which makes these numbers realistic. We will always have a door lock in our house. Yeah. We will always have a doorbell and a refrigerator. That's true. And what we are doing is augmenting these with sensors and connectivity to make them smarter. The potential is huge, and we at On Semiconductor are super excited to be part of this IoT world. That is exciting. Okay, I'm ready to get started. Where would I go for more information? Well, www.onsemi.com slash matrixcam is your one-stop shop to meet all your needs. You can learn more about this video development kit. You can go purchase one. You have access to the bill of materials, schematics, Gerber's software, user guides. So that's where you want to be. Fantastic. I'm on it. Well, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me today, Radhika. This was super cool. My pleasure, Amelia. Thank you. Before we go, don't forget to click that link. There you can find out more information about On Semiconductor's new Matrix Cam Video Development Kit. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton of eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to EE Journal's YouTube channel or check out the on-demand section of eejournal.com.